this is USB-C this phone comes with USB-C USB-C you could use a dongle but I do not recommend it so you need another cable for your car however not many cables are working with CarPlay I will test one two three four five six cables let's go to my car wait no I will go tomorrow I'm too tired now but for you it will be just one second check test one two three okay so we are in the car this is the cable that I use for now you see this is lightning bought from Mazda it was retractable the retractable part was not very good and scratched my car but the cable is okay let's start with starting the car actually not the engine only the entertainment part recording two channels started let's start with this first the small one It's charging but nothing okay so this one is good for charging but is not good for carplay anyway I knew this one would not work this from some mini so headphones let's see the IKEA one this is long two meters I think it's charging and it works perfect this is NVMe cable from NVMe enclosure charge CarPlay perfect I was 100% sure this one would work charging CarPlay perfect I was right about those. Let's test this Belkin one. It's very nice, very soft this one, I like it. It's charging CarPlay, perfect. So Belkin works with CarPlay. We have music. I cannot listen to music because uh, somebody will say no it's uh, okay I have my music yeah let's see Telur one charging CarPlay perfect so it's working also the interesting thing about it is it has some lead on it so you should be able to see it in the dark in the car if needed the only one left is this base US let's see <laughs> yeah so this base US no, not all base US cables of course this base US cable doesn't work at all it doesn't even charge so this is the worst <laughs> it's even worse than this one okay apart from these two which i knew they will work but they are kind of uh, thick and i use them for nvme enclosures i will keep them at home this it makes no sense to keep it because it's only charging but these three they are working so we have the winners ikea belkin and teller teller or whatever Perfect. see you in the house so I have a bunch of cables here no not this one this one is for another video is USB C USB C capable of 20 gigabits per second I will create a video about this one and a longer one so this is three meters I have a five meters one and you will see uh, how good they are uh, this is USB C no no not this one these are the two NVMEs I was I used the cables from this is one this is two yeah. the cable from this mini so thing I'm preparing a video about it it's cheap 
<laughs> but it's not that bad so subscribe to not miss this video uh, this Belkin one unfortunately no sorry 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 this base us one unfortunately doesn't work it's written data cable i don't know what to say maybe it's defective if you have one of these and it works for you let me know because for me it doesn't uh wait a second let's see if at least no no this one is defective so i take it back i'm not sure it works i will have to replace it this belkin one i like it i love it almost it's very soft boost charge flex usb a to usb c cable the ah, okay the teller one telu whatever it's called works it's also good it's braided with some nylon so it doesn't look bad it's flexible and mm, it's not fast but this one also is not that fast 480 megs per second this is usb2 yeah not usb3 on the plus side it has led and if you have ikea around why not go for it this ikea works also so we have the winners and the losers and the um, unknown ones yeah i do not want to say the loser because it doesn't work at all it may be defective this cable comes with the phone what was i saying Interesting question. siri what <laughs> is usb-c usb-c if your car has usb-c port you can try it okay perfect enough thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one as usual bye